Howdy, this video is on how to build a carousel with oxy extras, and this is in oxygen. So here's the carousel. And when you click here, it shows a screenshot of a website. So if you want to build a portfolio um, website for yourself, then this might be handy. Uh, and let me just show you how it looks when I shrink the screen. This was probably the most challenging part. So let's just come down a little bit, shrink this. Okay, so far so good. Keep going down. Still looking good. And there we go. Let's get all the way to 300 or thereabouts. And I can do that and it should still work. Okay, great. So let's take a look and see how this all happened. So we come over here to oxygen and let's go into the bigger screen size. So we have our section and then we have the uh, carousel builder here. And then inside the carousel builder, we have different cards. So we open this first one, see attorney. You'll notice there's a light box nested in here inside the uh, content wrapper so it's like this kind of area and this is the trigger the button right here preview button so light box it, if you just put this thing below it this will be the trigger and then it's going to go fetch an image so it's going to fetch it from here i just put this image here and set it to display none and lightbox says display block when it shows it and you'll notice there's a class up here, attorney site full screenshot. And Lightbox says, fetch me attorney site full screenshot. And then for the other cards, it's the same show, except I have different names, different class names for the image. So instead of attorney screenshot, it'll be like construction screenshot and so on and so forth. Now, the hardest part of setting this thing up, I think, were the uh, configurations for the carousel builder. Uh, especially when you go to um, a mobile screen size. So I'm just going to go and show you, this is where most of the activity happens. Um, so it's in this carousel builder cells. So um, this is by default set to percent. And I was working with that for a while and it was, I just could not get it to look any good um, going to mobile. So I just used rem. So I just said 32 rem here and I set the number of visible cells to three. Okay. And then as we go down, nothing changes really here. I don't think anything changes actually. Yeah. Just the same, same show. And then once we get to tablet, it changes. So it goes, uh, it was 37, I believe. And I went to 30, pardon me, 32. Um, and then it went to 35 rem. So it got a little bigger on tablet. Um, probably because it's uh, just two um, cells visible now. Let's go back to this. Okay. And then we go down to landscape. So nothing much has changed there, I think, except, yeah, now it's one. So now there's only one visible cell. And then finally, once we get to mobile, uh, we have one visible cell. Uh, but its width is now a percent. So this is the only time that I whipped out the percent. Uh, if we go back, let's see. Yeah, it was still 35 rem there at landscape. And then I went finally 90% right there. So uh, let's take another look. Uh, there's another area of settings that are important. So this is the carousel builder carousel. Um, these are the settings that I have. Um, I didn't really notice a big difference between center and left. And these are all just default. So there you have it.